Namaste, everyone. I'm Jenny G. And thanks for tuning into my channel. So in order to get content and new videos, you've got to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little red button there in the corner and you are subscribed. It's free. And please like my videos and make some comments. I really like to see where you're at. There's a lot of new things coming to my channel as I'm building it up. So it's really important. So this video is all about the weekly cosmic vibes. So we're going to talk about June 3rd to the 11th, what to expect, what you could be feeling, what you could be going through, how to deal with this energy and utilize this energy to the fullest that works best for you. And it's really important that you follow your own way, listen within your soul to hear those messages coming through, okay? So we still are in this full moon energy. For those of you who watched my full moon video for June 3rd and 4th, I called it the romantic moon, even though it's the strawberry full moon. There's a lot of information in that video to help you shift forward and transcend and know what to expect. So we're just going to give a little bit of information here on that full moon. So this is a romantic moon. I call it the romantic moon because Venus energy is here with us this week as well. Okay. And some of you might be getting engaged, married. Some of you might have just met your soulmate or twin flamer twin flamer as I call it you got to watch them twin flamers I'm just saying that's why I do a lot of past life Akashic record readings I'm a psychic clairvoyant medium animal communicator relationship coach meditation teacher past life Akashic record reader as well and so on and so on so I get messages from people Jenny I've just met my soulmate or my twin flame oh my gosh however when I read into your level of consciousness, into your Kashuk records, I might see things differently, okay? I will give you that information of who they are, why they're here, and what's going to happen. And then it's up to you. Just because we connect with someone does not mean we're supposed to be with them. They could be coming back to teach you many hard, painful lessons. Or, yes, they very well could be your person. So the only way to know is to book a reading with Jenny. But anyways, anyways, I'm just saying this full moon here can be very, very powerful. You're still healing and letting go as well from family karmic situations, family traumas, family betrayals, feeling rejected and hurts and wounds. We're still lingering on this week with it. And I've talked about that before, especially in the last video I did, because we're still healing and healing is a process that takes time. It truly does. And whenever you're letting go and clearing karmic situations, there's a certain way to do it. And I can certainly help you with that. So it's really, really important. However, what's really important this week, because you're going to find this midweek, as we get into midweek this week, June already, I can't believe we're in June, that you might be more open to forgiveness, to resolve issues within relationships, family, and so on. And it's really important you forgive yourself. Show yourself some compassion as well. So for those of you who are working out extreme sports and such, please be very careful around the full moon here, June 3rd and 4th. Try not to push, push, push yourself. The energies won't work with you. Really important to stretch and such like that and really watch your eating. You might find that, you know, your stomach could be a little bit off digestive if you start eating a lot of sweets or dairy or meat and flour products and such like that right now. So really listen to your body and such like that, because your liver could be acting up, your hips and your thighs and your sacrum area on June 3rd and the 4th as well, depending where we are. So really pay attention because certain days of 
the day of the month and so on, our bodies are more sensitive. So that's why you could be waking up and saying, wow, did I sleep wrong? Is my neck off or, you know, is my side off and such like that? It's connected with the planets. So this is why I talk more about it because I'll get emails. Jenny, I just, what's going on with this and this and that? And this is why. So this is why I'm adding this in and have added it in to my Cosmic Vibes videos anyways. So the fifth and the sixth, your backbone, knees and joints in your body. Also your skin and your hair. You might find that your skin's a little bit more itchy or your hair is having kind of those hair hair moments or you're like, geez, it just looks terrible or whatever, right? And it also affects your pets. So if you see your pet scratching, scratching more and maybe limping a little bit or something, really monitor them and pay attention to them as well. The cosmic energy affects them even more because they're very sensitive. I mean, I'm very sensitive. I can pick up on energy very quickly. I'm an empath, of course. And I'm sure a lot of you are an empath. You can pick up on energies and such like that. So the seventh and the eighth, it's more about our calves, and our ankles and such like that, and our shin area, our lower body. So even if you're pushing, pushing, pushing on the weights, especially for you guys, I mean, women as well, just be really careful. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. You know, we can do our exercises and such like that, which is very, very important. However, just be a little extra careful on these days. The 9th and the 11th of June, it's all about the feet, the toes, and the pineal gland. <laughs> I have a friend who would break her toe every year walking up her stairs in carpet and i'm like goodness sake seriously yes 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 she does every year she's like i keep breaking my toe what's going on with that really pay attention to certain days even more so around the 10th and 11th of june you're going to be feeling more inspired you might all of a sudden start hearing those messages coming through and coming in and such like that you know write down your creative ideas and please keep your creativity to yourself. I mean, I work on a lot of projects. I say nothing. Whenever they're up, I'll share. Things like that. However, I learned that the hard way, believe me. We're not even going to go on about that. So um, June 5th, we have the Venus energy, as I talked about a little earlier, the Venus energy. So that's all about unconditional love. You know how I said, you know, you might want to forgive someone. Your, your heart is expanding, you know, still on the layover and the and the over, over, over from the full moon energy. Some of you could be like, wow, I just got engaged or I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed with love. I met my person or maybe your person confessed like, hey, you know what? You're my person. I love you or or let's move in together or let me commit to you finally or anything like that. So let me know. Keep me posted on if you guys got engaged. If, if it also I just heard um, um, pregnancy, pregnancy for someone. Um, for those of you who've been wishing for pregnancy and such like that, I just heard that coming through. I might, I might get a, a name, but I'm, I'm not going to share that. Um, so, but anyways, um, I'm really, I'm really hearing that. And some of you who are writing, you're thinking about writing more, you might get inspired to write a lot more. Start pre-planning vacations. And you're also going to find that this week, you're going to be feeling more detached um, to certain situations, to... You know, it's it's like you know I don't want to get involved with that anymore. I'm 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 just I'm tired of it. I just I don't I don't want to be involved. I have my own stuff to deal with, and this is all about setting boundaries and stuff like that too. So there's a lot of soul evolution going on right now. It has been going on for a while, and as you're healing and letting go, coming to terms with past family karmic situations it's a huge quantum healing for yourself you're gonna find that once you let that go and have worked through that you're gonna feel so much different 
It opens things up more for you with prosperity, with abundance and such. Because when you hold on to anger, it will affect you. It will put blockages out there. So that's why I'm stressing out the importance of it's so important for you to do that healing within forgiveness, letting go. I, you can always book a reading with me, soulworkwithjenny.com. And I can tell you exactly who your families were in a past life, why they're with you, what you need to learn, and so on. Okay, that's really, really important if you really want to transcend forward. There's so much fear out there right now. There's so much fear. I can't believe it. I've, I've, you know, I've watched certain things. I mean, I observe a lot. I'm an observer and I don't say much. And I'm like, I can't believe. I'm not going to say people or names, of course. Um, but there's certain people that are like, oh my God, this is going to happen. That is going to happen. Oh my God, you have to do this. You have to do that. And it puts the fear of God into people. Please stop that. Oh my gosh. Please stop that. This is why you're going to find, especially this week, you're going to be like, you know, I've, I've had enough. I, I can't be involved with this anymore. I can't be involved with that negative energy. I just, I can't do it anymore. Fear is roadblocks. It's really important for you to move forward with your dreams, with your passions, with what you truly want to do and let go of all of this fear nonsense. Please. Yes, the world has changed. We've seen a lot of truth coming out. There's so much more truth, especially after the 17th of January. And please just know, especially for my U.S. people, USA people, the second half of 2024, the economy is going to get a lot more stronger. Please don't give up. You know, we all have stuff to balance and work through and such like that. Just stay true to you. And if you take a look at, you know, you might be feeling really good and such like that. And then all of a sudden you hear from somebody or you run into somebody and they bring the fear of God into you. And then you're out of alignment. Really pay attention to that. And that's why I'm starting to say you might start writing a little bit more this week. Keep a journal. What's going on? Where are you? You, you know, like where are you today compared to a month ago, a year ago? When you start writing things down, you're like, wow, you know what? Actually, I've, I've really worked through that. I've, I've ended that karmic situation because we've been doing clearings as well with toxic energies, patterns, behaviors and such like that. Your soul really showed you a lot of harsh lessons during that eclipse season. That started April 20th, 21st. That was life changing, sudden endings, huge shocks, all of these things. Where are you now? What did you work through? I want to know what ended for you, especially ended suddenly. Or you might have been, you know what? I've had enough. I'm done. I've made my decision to change this. That's going to continue for a little while. That's why when you start hearing these little things coming through, Write it down because when you make decisions and you're like, you know what? I'm feeling more at peace with that. I just, I'm a lot more calmer. Yes, it was very hard to make that decision. Yes, it was very hard to say goodbye to that person. Yes, it was really hard for me to walk away from that job. Yes, it was really hard for me to end toxic patterns and addictions and certain things like that so this is why this is another week of quantum healing when you embrace it and really pay attention to what your soul is showing you this week you're also going to see how you are going to be able to utilize that and work through your obstacles that's why it's like when you're being shown what you need to let go of Write it down and say, spirit, please give me the strength and the will to heal this, to come to terms with, to see the truth on that. The strength and the will. If I'm working through something that I know that can be a little harder, let's say, I'm like, spirit, Archangel, Michael, Raphael, please help me cut the ties energetically with this person or situation, pattern, whatever it is. So I can transcend forward in quantum leaps and heal quantumly. It's really important you start healing yourself. 
How others heal themselves, of course, is up to them. You can give your insights. You can give your guidance and your love. However, it's up to that person to take the steps when they're truly, truly ready and never, ever judge anybody ever, ever. We all have that path, our own soul's footprints, what we have to do. So you're going to want to pursue even something more meaningful this week, something more passionate. How many of you have written down things that you wanted to do? And you're like, you know, I thought about doing that a couple of years ago. I thought about doing that a few months ago, last year, whenever it was. Start looking at that again. You're going to find that, especially when you take time for you this week, I always stress that importance as well. When you take time for you, you're going to get those messages coming through from soul to say, you know what, maybe it's time to start working on that project again. Maybe it's time to contact that person. That's what help is there for. That's why we're here. We help each other. When you're walking in alignment within your soul, you will see opportunities opening up for you that is more in alignment for you. When you're walking your truth in alignment and being authentic, following your passions and pursuing and setting boundaries, distancing away from negative, toxic energy, you're really going to see your life transcend forward and you're going to heal quantumly. In a huge way, huge way, you're going to hear of more sicknesses. All of a sudden, you're going to be hearing this person is sick. This person is like had a heart attack. That's going to continue on more and more and more and more and more. So it's something that you really have to do a lot of soul reflecting on. The truth has been exposed and it's going to be exposed even more, especially in the medical field and such like that. So walk your truth this week, you guys really walk your, always walk your truth regardless of what. So you're also going to hear about a lot more truth coming forth on the U S with their financial situation as well. So, um, life's a balance. It's all about balance really important to forget forget energies and let go of energies that have brought you fear you'd be surprised i work with a lot of suicides and it's just unbelievable unbelievable especially when you have to deal with their family afterwards so anyways um let's pull a couple of cards from spirit shall we and um see what messages spirit's going to say to us i mean i don't use cards whenever i do a reading with someone i read into your level of consciousness to see where you're at and then expand it that's clairvoyant and so on within me so let's talk about the animal kingdom i'm an animal communicator and um, I still have my little Bella, my little girl, Bella. She's past life connected with me. And I know why she's with me. For those of you. Yes, she still has a lot of medical conditions. It's cost me over $1,000 a month. So you have to be grateful for every day you have with someone. Keep your heart open. That unconditional love is going to be really open this week. And make sure you show yourself love and compassion, please. Please. I mean, I don't talk about a lot of different things. I keep a lot to myself. Depends who it's with. So, okay. So June 10th, by the way, as well, You June 10th and 11th, you guys are going to be even making a lot more decisions around then too, by the way. And, um, you know how I mentioned whenever you're making decisions, when you're like, you know what, I feel at peace with this, really stay in the now, really stay in the now. It's really important. You know, we can plan a lot of different things and such like that. And everything does come together in divine timing. 
We can manifest whatever we want, but be really careful what you're manifesting. Be very specific and look at reality with what you're manifesting. You can attract anything you want, and then you're going to be like, how did I attract that? Because take a look at what you were wanting and thinking and wishing and desiring. I'm just saying, be really careful, you guys. Okay. So, and set some goals. Keep your goals going, you guys, because you're going to see those coming to fruition September through November. It's a very powerful year. Very powerful year. So, all right. Okay. So let's pull a couple of cards from the Animal Kingdom and make sure that you guys shuffle or um, clear your cards. Doesn't matter what cards they are. Three times, boom, boom, boom on wood to clear your energy or whoever else used them. Because if not, it brings the energy over. So let's see what the Animal Kingdom has to say. Wow. Wow. Right away. Right away, this fell out. So the energy. Now, I talked about even in my predictions from beforehand, um, how we're going to be hearing more from the animals within the sea. That's why, you know, that's another reason why I'm drawn to water too. I get a lot of messages um, out there from animals of all kinds. And this is so beautiful. This is one of my favorite animals. Um, it's a sea turtle. This represents stability. Now, stability, everybody's like, oh, I'm not financially stability. Stability is number one within yourself. When you're aligned, whenever you're walking your truth, whenever you're feeling good about yourself, self-love is so important. But Jenny, I don't know. Set boundaries on energies that are draining you, that are always wanting something from you, that is causing you to go into the fear of God mode. Let all of that go. Some of you have let people go. This is a universal seven year, which is bringing you forth more spiritually when you're not going to want to be looking at or being around or surrounding yourself by a lot of fear and drama and negativity. There's so much out there that's so negative. So I distance away from it. I've watched different videos on certain even predictions and stuff. And I'm like, are you seriously kidding me? Really? Anyways, that doesn't matter. So water is your emotions. Water is your emotions, by the way, as well. So whenever you're getting in touch with emotions, for those of you who are around the water, go sit by the water, go swimming, go reflect. I always love it whenever I see turtles, whenever I go to Hawaii. I just love them. I have a beautiful, um, I have little turtles around here, by the way, not real ones. But um, I have like a huge turtle. It's a statue made out of coconut shell. And um, it's hanging on my wall and it's one of my favorite. I have a lot of different statues and arts that I've collected on my travels. And it's one of my favorites because I just love turtles. They're so adorable. So you'll have to look at my photography to see turtles and such like that. Jenny G Photography on Instagram. You can check me out. Follow me there. And, you, and you'll see. So um, listen to the wisdom of the turtle with the stability within. Stability, everybody wants to be stable, of course. And this is why it's really important to start writing down your ideas. And pursuing them. Because what you do on a day-to-day -day basis will determine your future. It really will. Yeah, but Jenny, I'm working so hard on it and it's just not happening. Be patient. Things come together at the right timing. When you look back, look back a year ago, look back six months ago, look back to April where the eclipse happened, April 20th to 21st. Maybe go back and watch my video. April 20, 21st. Um, Full moon, I combine Mercury retrograde, um, the eclipse, and the full moon into that video. So April 20th, 21st, go back and watch that video. I give a lot of information in there for you guys too as well. Okay, so, so let's talk about more vibes this week from spirit. What's the collective message from the spirit world for June 3rd to 11th? What's the collective message? From the Universal Forces, June 3rd to 11th. What's the message from the spirit world? The message from the spirit world. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Okay. All right. All right. All right. Now this is very interesting. So we have the card here of Lakshmi. Now Lakshmi um, is one of the Hindu goddesses of abundance. What were we just talking about? Stability. Abundance within abundance can come to you in many different ways. Maybe you just heard you're pregnant. Maybe you just got engaged. Maybe you just conquered your fear. Maybe you just, you know, got a raise. Abundance doesn't always mean money. Abundance when you're open and you're grateful. When you're grateful for the smallest little, I mean, I'm very grateful even for the smallest little things, the smallest little things I'm truly grateful for. Life is fragile. I worked on and off at a hospice for years. I saw people die every day. And the hardest part is, of course, dealing with their families and their friends. Because, you know, when that person passes there at peace, it's still not easy, of course, as well. So abundance can come in many different ways. Be truly grateful for sharing time with people that you really care for. That's why it's really important to keep your heart open. This week is going to help you open your heart more with that Venus energy, with the full moon, June 3rd and 4th energy. Speak your truth from your heart with kindness. Black, she brings in a lot of different abundance. I see abundance in a whole different way. I mean, of course, everybody wants to be like, um, stable. Who doesn't, right? Of course, we all do. Of course, we all do. So let's pull a card from um, our angels and see what our angels have to say to us. Please call upon your angels when they when you need them. They're there with you all the time. However, especially when you're going through things, Call upon them. Archangel Michael, I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling scared. I need support. Archangel Raphael, please help me cut ties from my toxic behavior or patterns or this toxic situation with this person. Call upon your angels. Yeah, but Jenny, I don't see them. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you can see them or feel them or what. I talk to the angels. I, I get messages 24-7 from the spirit world constantly, constantly. That's why I hold a lot back and keep a lot of things to myself. So um, what's the messages from our angels collectively for June 3rd to the 11th? Oh, now, isn't this really cool? You know how I said this week is all about quantum healing, Quantum healing with relationships, family relationships, relationships of all different kinds. Look what card fell out. Relationships. I'm going to read this to you. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. Absolutely. When you're grounded and feeling with alignment within your soul, and you're letting go and you're walking in your truth and your authentic self. You have to have that relationship with you. You're the only person who can have that relationship with you within your soul. We can be in a relationship or married and have connections all around. However, you are in a relationship with you, with yourself and God. And every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship then snuggle more closely with your loving creator within yourself, within soul, within source. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. So if you ever notice that, if you're not in a really good mood, it's going to be really hard to share yourself with someone else because if you're like, you know what, leave me alone. I'm not in a good mood. The energy changes right away, right? So this is why it's important to take that space and time out for you to heal and so on. So let's see what the message is of from our crystal world. And even wearing um, a pink quartz crystal. Um, yeah, I do have one here. Pink quartz. That helps you open your heart. That's about self-love as well. Green is the color for the heart chakra as well. So if you're struggling, green is a really good color for healing. 
which this week it's all about quantum healing within your soul, reflecting, letting go. You know, even you could be healing from family members that have passed on and you're missing them more this week. You could be reflecting back on a lot of memories on circumstances, the good and the bad and the ugly. I started laughing last night. It was like 11 o'clock and I'm like, oh my goodness sakes. I had a, I had a really funny memory from my friend, um, John. Actually, um, I, he's one of my dearest friends. I've, I've known him since I was a teenager many, many moons ago. And I started laughing because I'm like, oh, my God, that was so funny. And I was going to message him. But, of course, I didn't at 11 o'clock at night. He's like four hours ahead of me in time. <laughs> but I, I will today sometime because that was so funny. That was so funny. I'm like, oh, my goodness. So anyways. What's the message from our crystal world? What's the message from our crystal world? Bring out that inner child, you guys. Have some fun. You might even find that this week, even around the 8th, you might be drawn to take certain classes or sign up for some more training or something. Wow. So this card here is kind of very interesting. Um, crystal Kula. I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, by the way. <laughs> probably am. Yeah. So certain memories can spark and trigger you at any time. You guys see the blue blues all about communication and, and, and see how this is kind of cool because you see the little bubbles and stuff like that. And, and if you take a look at it, it kind of looks like a bear. Actually, there's his two eyes. There's his nose. There's his mouth. There's his little ears. Oh, wow. I just saw that. Uh, and there's his feet. Look at that. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing anyways. Can you guys see that? Like, can you guys see that? So blue represents communication with the throat chakra and such like that. And, and even aqua, aqua quartz, by the way, um, is really good for um, communication and such like that. So blue, wearing blue, of course. Um, I was really drawn to blue this morning. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to be wearing blue. So really pay attention to what colors you're getting drawn to. Because there's a lot of powerful energy and vibrations with colors and sounds and such like that so whenever you're feeling a little blah wear something colorful you will notice that your energy will change right away so if you have like let's say like a gray shirt on um or dark blue or or like whatever color and you're like you know i'm feeling a little off try to go into your closet or your drawers and pick a colorful outfit and you're like but jenny i know i'm not really drawn to that Put on a colorful shirt, like a really colorful shirt and wear it for a couple hours. I want to see what you guys are going to say. Let me know how you feel after you put some colorful color on you, you know, because when you do that, it changes your energy and your vibration. So let's just pull another card here. Um, June 3rd to the 11th collective message from the spirit world. What is a collective message from the spirit world? June 3rd to 11th. The collective message, collective message. Wow. Now we also have solar flares coming on as well. You guys, um, just to let you know. So, which is important. You drink more water because solar flares think of fire and they get closer to the earth and it can cause all kinds of, you know, like eruptions, uh, like volcanoes. It can start like, um, uh, you know, hurricanes and just certain things, right? It really affects our planet, you and your animal, all its species, and so on. Now, this is really important. This is about balancing yourself, the direction, the growth, and life stages. Now, take a look at that. If you take a look at it, it's very native energy, all different directions, north, south, west, and east, with the little butterfly there. Butterfly represents transformation. So when you start seeing a butterfly around you, really pay attention, especially if it's kind of hanging around you. That's from your spirit guides. It could be from someone that has passed on to letting you know, hey, I'm with you. You're going through a transformation. And there's a lot of you who are going through a transformation and transcending forward in quantum leaps. We all evolve in our own way. So that's why, you know, I hear people say, you know what, I've really evolved, Jenny. 
I can't believe my friend hasn't. I can't. Don't do that. We all have our own journey. Don't judge anyone. It, it's irrelevant. Your journey has nothing to do with their journey at all. Don't judge. So this is all about balance, you guys. Balance. Balance. Shake the stress off when you're feeling stressed. Like our sleep is going to be a little light on as well. On and off. It's really important just to kind of get rest whenever you need it. Even if you're feeling restless and stuff, maybe work out, like work out, you know, go for that brisk walk, move your body away because you can get stuck energy within your body. And when you get stuck energy within your body, it blocks prosperity. It blocks abundance. It can block a lot of different energies. So really dive into that pain when you start feeling that pain seeing that pain, whatever and how you feel it, especially with family situations, don't run from it. Deal with it within. You don't have to connect with them. You don't have to talk to them. It's up to you. However, it's all about you wanting to heal in a quantum way from that. What they say to you, how they treat you, is their karma. How you respond to it is yours. Really something to think about. So for those of you who'd like to book a reading with me, soulworkwithjenny.com to get a very detailed reading. And make sure you subscribe to my channel, like my channel, and make some comments. Let me know what you're healing from, what you're letting go of. Are you wearing colorful shirts? And for those of you, let's say, who changed your shirt you're feeling kind of you know blah or not in a good mood and all of a sudden you put an orange shirt on very bright orange shirt on or whatever it is lime green or something really bright I want to know how you feel later that day or even a couple hours after and such like that because who you surround yourself with you become so it's really important to be around people who support you in a positive way and not get involved with a lot of fear and negativity. I distance away from that as best as I can. So anyways, you guys, sending you love and light. Until next time. Namaste, everyone. I'm Jenny G. I'm an international known clairvoyant psychic medium, past life Akashic record, animal communicator, relationship coach, meditation teacher, and so on. I am here to tell you there is some exciting news. I'm revamping my YouTube channel. That's right. There's new content coming out weekly. I'm going to talk about the weekly cosmic vibes, what you're experiencing and why, how to utilize that and giving you the reasons behind it. We're going to talk about the new moon, the full moon, Mercury retrograde, and I'm going to give you those insights, how to manifest and make things happen for you at the right time time. It's time, everyone. It's time to wake up this planet. Let's show some love and compassion. Let the fear go. Let the negativity go. Let's do this together and transcend your soul in quantum leaps. I'll be here. Where are you? Hit that red button at the corner there, subscribe to my channel, and let's make this happen. Let's do this now. Namaste.